Hey there folks, so today is the first day of building the bell tent deck. I'm going to set up some pegs, get some levels and um, figure out the exact length of the footings I'll need to weld onto the steel platform. Because I'm doing a steel um, sub floor with the cypress uh, decking on top. So yeah, I've got my tripod set up over there. I've got my self-leveling laser over here. And um, I'm going to set that up and um, get some dimensions going. But first, I guess I better put in my corner pegs. So it's going to be 8 by 10. So um, yeah, I'll do that first and you can watch along. So I've got my little compass here. For a good reason. That is north, that way. So northeast and first sun is going to come up that way in winter, which is important because I don't want to be cold in the morning. So um, yeah, we're going to orientate the deck on the north, south, east, west axes, so it won't be completely square to everything that um, I've cleared, it'll just be square to the sun and north. So yeah, we'll get, get some marking done first. Got these little um, wire stakes that I've made just out of some fencing wire. Painted the tops and um, put some pink on them so I can tell where I am. We'll go down the bottom and start from there. Can't use that, it's clagging up too much, not giving me a good measurement. I have to do it old school. Okay, now that I've done that, I've got my corners, I'm going to put pegs on the outside of that and then run a string line and get it square. And then from there, I'll just start doing levels with the laser level and um, I'll record them onto my sheet. Because, as you can see here, this is how I'm building it. It's uh, 8 metres this way. But it's done in two pieces so I can transport it and these little footings are going to be welded on at different sizes to go into the concrete which will then be put into holes and I'm going to be using um, 
a pipe technique where I use a, a stormwater drain pipe as a collar, put the cement in, slip that off with the dirt packed around it so I'm not using immense amounts of concrete for such a little deck. And um, yeah, that should be um, pretty right then. Okay, so I put some pegs out, I'm going to stake them in and then we're going to put a string line across. Now these pegs that I've already put in, the stakes, um, they've they are actually just the corners of the decking. The footings are offset, um, so there's a little bit of um, uh, overhang, or a counterbalance on each end. So um, yeah, we'll put some pegs in and get some string lines and make sure it's all square, and then I'll start actually marking where footing holes are gonna go. need to break for a minute because that's rain. Okay well the rain has subsided and um, I've got my chalk, line chalk here. I've squared these up and um, re-pegged them out so they're all square now and um, I've got 8 by 10 so it's 10 meters north to south and 8 meters east to west. Now I'm just going to mark out where the footings are and um, put a little dot and then I can do some levels with the old laser level and that way I know how long each footing needs to be um, and I'll cut them and weld them where I'm living at the moment because um, my solar panels will not run a generator and uh, will not run a, um, a welder out here so um, yeah, I've got to do that elsewhere and then transport the the um, subfloor in piece by piece on the trailer. Um, four metre lengths. They were eight metre lengths, but I cut them in half because I can't transport eight, more, eight, eight metres. I can only transport um, four. So yeah, that's it so far. And um, I've run out of battery on the other camera, so on my phone. And this isn't fully charged, so I'm just going to do snippet videos and then I'll edit it together. From the 10 meters, I'm going to do 600 centers with a 200 mil overhang on each end because the slats will go this way. And then um, this way it's 200 to a center, then 1200 centers, then 200 overhang each end. Another 1200, 1200, 1200, and then 200 again to center. So that equals uh, 8 meters all up. Um, yeah. So what I've done here is I've gone 200 mil from uh, that edge in, and I put a marker and ran a line, and 200 mil up that end, and then I've put the tape just off that line, and then I've gone along and done my centers for my 10 meter span so now i'm going to repeat that um, all along these measurements along here and um, then i should have all my footing markings so i'm halfway through So this is where the join will be between the two four meter pieces, 200 either side. But yeah, it's working out pretty good. Just three more rows to do, and I'm done. I can start doing levels. Well, it's all done. I ran out of chalk, so I had to use some enamel that I had in the car doesn't uh, become too hard to see but <laughs> it 
all the footings. So basically I just got to get an idea of the fall so I can work out exactly how long these these pieces of steel need to be to go down to the concrete. A lot of them, so better get cracking.